The Salt Lake City Police Department honored 25 of its fallen officers this afternoon. It was all part of National Police Week. New Specialist Alex Cabrera was at that ceremony and spoke to one man who will always remember his father's sacrifice, even after more than 70 years. It doesn't matter how long it's been. 73 years, I was 16. Bill Farley can remember that day like it was yesterday. I was in football practice at South High School. It was 1951 when his father, Salt Lake City Police Sergeant Owen Farley, was shot by a robbery suspect. Another officer came to that football field to tell Bill and pick him up. Jumped in his car and we went toward the hospital. And on the way to the hospital, it came over the radio that my dad had died. Detective Sergeant Owen T. Farley. Today, Sergeant Farley, as well as 24 other Salt Lake City police officers killed in the line of duty, were honored and remembered during a ceremony in front of police headquarters. Time may heal the pain, but the department wanted to make sure it didn't forget. To the families of our fallen officers, we owe you an immeasurable debt of gratitude. Bill Farley is thankful the department hasn't forgotten and invited him and his wife Mary to the ceremony. I'm so grateful for them to do that. So. He can still remember kissing his dad goodbye after being dropped off at that practice. Not even 73 years can take away that memory. What a great guy he was and we just loved him very much. Owen Farley's name is on the wall here at the Utah Law Enforcement Memorial just west of the Capitol as well as the names of all the other law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty in Utah. Pretty soon Santa Quinn Sergeant Bill Hoosier's name will also be added to this wall after he was killed less than two weeks ago. It is a reminder that although the job has certainly changed with technology and such the danger remains the same. In Salt Lake City, Alex Cabrera, KSL 5 News.